Hi. So in this first online lecture uh, in term three, we're going to go on a bit of a treasure hunt. Uh, we're going to talk about social cultural theory. And that was a phrase that was coined by Lev Vygotsky. He was a Russian psychologist and also uh, a thinker, and especially about theory about human and cultural and biosocial development, or essentially that we constantly learn from each others. And quite a bit of his theories have found its way into education also. Vygotsky's central idea is the inseparable unity of mind, brain and culture. And this is also often referred to today as sociocultural theory or the idea that society makes uh, an important contribution to individual development. Of course, in music, this is a huge aspect of sampling. And as you're looking at the relationship between technology, society and culture in your essay, this can be a good way of trying to understand that concept. Our treasure hunt is going to take us from Stockhausen to uh, Sonkif to Tali the Creator. And the path that we follow is that Tyler's track Forward uh, samples a remix made by Sonic Youth of a track by Can called Spoon. How many cars can I buy till I run out of drive? How much drive can I have until I run out of road? How much road can I So the connection between Sonic Youth and Karl Heinz Stockhausen is that Sonic Youth sampled imagery from Stockhausen's album Gesang der Jungling on their EP TV ship from the mid 90s. Now they did that because Thurston Moore was a massive fan of the crowd rock band Can, and Holger Shakai of that band was a student of Karl Heinz Stockhausen. And here's a perfect opportunity to play some of their excellent music. <laughs> How do we actually get from Stockhausen to Tyler, the creator? Well, Vygotsky's idea is that we're always influenced by what happens around us in society. And in sampling, this is often very true. Uh, here's a clip with Tyler being interviewed by Nadwar, and they're talking about record. And as you can see, there's quite a range of the records that Tyler are familiar with. Something, of course, that happens when you listen to records a lot or create a dig also, as you do when you're sampling. Tell the people this chunk of music. All right, all right. So this, this is just some great shit, man. Just, it's just a bunch of motherfucking musicians just making shit for shows and movies, and it's all under this. This guy's sick with that little fucking trumpet, man. Has some real good stuff. It's some what's my, Tom Brown. Yeah, Tom Brown. What's the one off of this one? I like Funkin' for Jamaica, obviously, but it's oh, Forevermore. Forevermore is f f f f f fire. The free design. If you are a fan of Stereo Lab, you want to listen to this to hear everything that they steal from. This is some beautiful stuff. They have a song called Little Cowboy that is beautiful. This singer named Clara Hill sampled it for a song called Wake Up off of her debut album. And underneath, lastly, we have some Minimal Man. Oh, shit. Yo, Minimal Man is fucking tight, dude. They have this song called Pull Back the Boat that I fucking love. Drums, bass, lights. How did you discover Minimal Man? Um, Tebe showed me them. We were shooting Motor Squad, and he was like, "Yo, Tyler, check this out. I think you'll like it." And I listened to it, and um, at first I was like, "Oh, this is weird," and then I ended up really liking it.
And in the last clip, we can see an example of a social cultural phenomenon happening where Tyler's fans, they would probably normally not listen to Minimal Man, becomes aware of this band and in that way extends their own understanding of different types of music outside of what they might be normally listening to. While Vygotsky was more interested in the cognitive behavior of pre-adults and kids, uh, there's no question how music often plays an important role when we're trying to make sense of our surrounding and how we're often using music as a way to express our identity and heritage. In the same way that Thurston Moore connects to Can and Hoge Shikai by name checking Stockhausen, Thaler gets connected to Jean Luc Godard by name checking Minimal Man, and that's via Patrick Miller of that band who later joined Tuxedo Moon. Now, Tuxedo Moon had a track called In a Manner of Speaking, which was covered by Novelle Vogue. They took their name from the new French wave, uh, which of course Jean Luc Godard was an integral part of. This is footage from Jean-Luc Godard's 1960 film, Breathless, the movie that ushered in the French new wave. The jump cuts, the casual glance of the camera, the fact that the actor, Jean-Paul Belmondo, isn't on a soundstage, but actually driving on a real street. Modern filmmakers have been using these... While this is obviously a little bit of a play with connections, it does show that the connections between artists and creators in culture and art are often a lot closer than we might expect to begin with. It probably also wouldn't be unfair to say that the reasons why Jean-Luc Godard used his kind of guerrilla filmmaking technique was the same reason that caused hip-hoppers to use cheap sampling technology to create your music and both of them because of these reasons created new and groundbreaking ways of creating art. Mm -hmm. 